guys, so I know it's been a while. If you've been following along, I have been commuting from Japan for a little over two years now. I've transferred bases multiple times and tested out various possibilities of managing this as best as possible. I think I may have found a solution for now. Over the past two years, I've been based in Boston, Atlanta, Los Angeles, and now I'm currently in Salt Lake City. There's nothing like having a home to come home to after a long day's work. The last thing I want to do is commute on top of my commute. So that's what I've tried in the past as my mom lives in Florida and my dad in California. I'd get hotels when necessary and then I'd fly to my parents' house in between trips when I had like a day or two off. Well, when you add that commute on top of my commute from Japan, I was simply exhausted. Now, I am glad I tried it out, but I'm here to tell you, don't do it. So here in Salt Lake, I've been able to rent a fully furnished apartment. I do it through Hello Landing, but you can probably find one off Facebook Marketplace or options like that. Now, this has been an absolute game changer for balancing this commute for me, and it really has saved my sanity. I get to cook my own meals in a full kitchen, and I enjoy simple pleasures like having in-unit free laundry. And nights are quiet and comfortable knowing that I don't have to check out of a hotel at 11 a.m. the next morning. Rice pudding is so good. Holy moly. I don't know if you've ever had these. Petite pot. It's a plant-based vanilla rice pudding. This is like, this is the best. I think this might be better than ice cream. I don't know if it's a phase, but this is amazing. And it comes in this little cute jar. So cute. I'm going to save this. Now I am blessed to be in a situation financially where I can try, try to drop as many trips as possible, but this does mean endless time spent trying to fix my schedule. In order to commute as little as possible, I do try to push all of my flying together. And what has been working for me is swapping for A days, which is our version of being on reserve or you can call it on being on call. So if scheduling calls you, you get two hours minimum to report for a trip. Now with the recent hiring in the aviation industry, I have felt the bump in my seniority pretty quickly and do get lucky sometimes without getting used. Since my body can be so exhausted from commuting, not having to fly feels like a blessing. But without this apartment, I would be bouncing between hotel rooms. Now there is the option for a crash pad instead, but as an introvert, I prefer the solitude of this place. I also get to use the apartment complex's gym, which is a definite bonus. Staying active and maintaining a healthy lifestyle is really important to me, and it can be challenging when stuck in a hotel room with a crappy gym and the only options for food is nearby takeout. So prioritizing your health is definitely what helps make this lifestyle a little more manageable. I've learned too quickly when you try and say yes to everything, you'll easily get burned out. This life does keep me always on the go, so not having to pack everything and schlep it all with me on my trips is such a relief. Salt Lake City has such a great public transportation system too, so I don't even need a car while I'm here. This apartment is my little sanctuary where I can relax and unwind after a long day in the sky. by right now and I'm just reading my book and I've got about 15 minutes to go and then I should be released so then I get to go back to my apartment so it's so nice to have a place I can just go home and chill and don't have to hop on another plane right now or get a hotel. Yay I'm almost done. Now one of the biggest challenges of being a flight attendant is dealing with the constant time zone changes. But having a stable place to call home has helped me adjust more quickly. I can keep a somewhat regular sleep schedule and I don't have to worry about the hassle of moving from hotel to hotel. Now, of course, there are still many challenges to commuting. I'm often away from my family and friends for long stretches of time. Being a commuter flight attendant can be really tough. 
and a few of you has have reached out to me on Instagram asking a few questions regarding it. So I want to share a few tips that I've shared with others that might help you out. Okay, don't kill me for saying this, but don't commute if you don't have to. I know it's not a choice for many, but if you can choose, I highly recommend moving to base. I moved to Minnesota when I first started my flying career as I didn't have any reason to keep me elsewhere. I maintained my relationship with my then boyfriend, who's now my husband, in Texas while I was living in Minnesota. And although it was challenging, living in base was 100% worth it. Now, if living abroad is a dream of yours, I'm here to tell you that it's certainly possible. I would just try to wait until you have a little bit of seniority so you can push your flying together and drop trips accordingly. If you do commute abroad, consider an apartment stateside if you can financially manage it, whether that means a crash pad to call your own or a sublease while you're in the United States. There's nothing worse than commuting domestically on top of an international commute. Finding a stable place to call home has made a world of a difference for me. If you're considering this career path, I highly recommend looking into long-term rentals or other housing options that can provide a sense of stability and comfort. If you like it, feel free to like it. Subscribe if you wanna see more. Can't promise when the next one will be out, but I really do try my hardest. If not, I'll see you again in the next video or on a CPAC screen near you. Okay, that was lame, but <laughs> if you get it, you get it.